for putting together a truly bipartisan bill. I'm a, honored to be a member of the Appropriations Committee and was uh, very honored to support uh, this bipartisan compromise. This is a, a difficult bill to put together, but they did very good work in the subcommittee to make this a product that both sides could support. And I think for Senator Murphy and myself, the deeply emotional experience of Orlando evoked the images and sounds and sights of Newtown on that tragic day when both of us were there and witnessed the aftermath of 20 beautiful children and sixth grade educators gunned down senselessly, needlessly, in an act of unimaginable and unspeakable horror. ...for changes in our laws, uh, and so... We're here to, today to seek action. And action has been too long delayed on preventing gun violence. And the kinds of acts of hatred and terror that happened in Orlando. Actions speak louder than words, and the nation deserves action. 90% of the American people want sensible, common sense measures like background checks to be adopted by the Senate. Um, what the due, that there is due process for, I think, what you've been calling the terrorist watch list. We cannot go on with business as usual in this body. We must stand because this violence in our country will continue unless we take measures, common sense measures, to restrict these firearms going to known or suspected terrorists. I believe that this is a day that should not be business as usual. I believe that this should be a day that this body comes together like it has before to put forth common sense safety measures to prevent terrorism. To paraphrase one of our great leaders, Martin Luther King said, what we will have to repent for in this day and age is not just the vitriolic words and violent actions of the bad people, but the appalling silence and inaction of the good people. Because that this is an issue long overdue that the American people have asked us over and over again when... As we talked with our other colleagues who will come to this floor today, who all have in their hearts that word enough, enough, enough. What we are seeking is not radical. What we're seeking is not something that is partisan. What we're seeking is common sense that is supported by the overwhelming majority of this nation. ...of radicalization of this individual. He was reportedly on the U.S. no-fly list.